Hey yo, Night Owls, my name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. We are going to just get into it today. Oh, I apologize for any lag or anything. My computer's been ridiculously laggy today. I don't know what's going on with it. I think the game was a little laggy yesterday, too, actually. So I don't know what that was about. Ooh, we have our first melon wine. But before we go out to... I swear I heard something. Anyway, before we go out to get anything, uh... To put into these uh, kegs here, we will read the weather report. So let's see. The weather for tomorrow is going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. Seems just there's a lot of clouds, but not enough rain, unfortunately. As for the fortune teller, well, the spirits are very displeased today. Jeez, it's like a third of the year they're just always displeased. Maybe two thirds of the year. I don't know. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Fish focus. Salmon. Salmon return to their spawning ground in fall to lay eggs. That means the rivers are chock full of them. You can only find them in fall, so get out there and cast your pole. Ooh, salmon. Do we want to get some salmon? Oh man, I really wish I could eat fish. Anyway, let's go outside and get some... Hmm. Ooh, we have... Yeah, that's right. Oh wait, the pumpkins all grew in. Not just that one pumpkin. Oh man, that fairy just... Uh, what is this? Dear Mako, I was conducting a field study the other day and I found this specimen. I hope you find it as interesting as I did. Demetrius, it's just a bream, dude. It's literally just a bream. Oh man, okay, hold on. Hold on. I have way too many things to be putting away and stuff, so let me just put this stuff away. And let me clear the grounds of all the other forage things that I had to pick up there. Because I left it all. Oh, I mean, I left all these things in my inventory last night because I really didn't have time to actually put it away but now I do so I'll just get all this stuff done okay well we have still a lot more harvesting to do well, not a lot it's just the amaranth it's like the, that crop fairy really made things grow in pretty quickly so we are hurting for space right now let me actually get ooh do I have my melons on me I did not oh I can put Ooh, I have two pumpkins okay <clears throat> I can put some pumpkin in here instead of the melons because I think pumpkin are worth more than melons. So, you know, why not? Let's do that for now. Let's plop that in there. Okay. We have two of the five golden gold star pumpkins that we need. So that's a step in the right direction. But for now, we really need... Okay, let's just drop that in there. We really need to make another chest. So... Oh, man, I do not have the room for this, do I? Hmm. Oh, we have one more space, space in there. So let me just do that. Let's make a chest. Good. Okay, that was a lot more wood than I would have hoped for. Whatever. Oh, okay. Let me just... I think first things first is putting the chest outside and then picking up all the stuff. See, so yeah, I can place that there. Just... Uh, I know I have blackberries somewhere else. So I'm not going to do that. Now, I will put those in the other chest. And I have to figure out what else I have to take with me to the community center. Because I am just ready and waiting to get that done. I do want to visit Pierre before he closes up because we need more seeds. I want to make sure that I get all the pumpkins that I need and all the corn that I need. The gold star ones. So, to make sure that we get the um, all the bundles just completed. Because I, I don't want to wait on that. I do want to sell the bream, and do I need anything else here? It looks like I don't. So let's go to Pierre's before we finish harvesting everything else. I know we're running low on energy already and whatnot, but uh, that's gonna have to that's gonna have to just hold tight there. And yeah, I know today's Jody's birthday. I, I have, I'm like starting to remember the birthdays now, but it's I, I just can't be bothered with that right now. I Jody is not one of my closer friends. I would prefer let's see, closer friends, social. I prefer to keep it with Shane, Abigail, and maybe Emily. I don't know about Marnie and Lewis. I mean, maybe. Those two get along really well. And it looks like I haven't given Shane and Abigail enough gifts this week. So I will tend to that shortly. But first things first is dealing with all the crops. Hey, Lewis. Hey, Caroline. Ooh, there's a task. I wonder what it is. I hope it's actually something I could do because I couldn't do that. That's actually really doable. Cool. Okay, thanks, Demetrius. Let's, um... Let's buy some seeds. Okay, so I want to focus on pumpkin and corn, which is really expensive. So if I buy nine to fill up ones that I already just harvested, I can buy another nine to fill up the amaranth that I just... Wait, no, I, I got actually 18 amaranth. Ugh, oh, man. 
Oh, okay, this is this is just like tough. I just spent like a bunch of money and I didn't really want to spend that much money But I hope these are enough seeds to fill up the rest of the uh, spots that we have uh, I just I wanted to get them filled up because they have the special uh, the Soil with the, the fertilizer there we go fertilized soil. Yep Words are always escaping me when I'm playing Stardew Valley. I don't know why I guess words escape me also in regular daily life So it should be it should be commonplace for me so let's get these things in the ground. Let's actually find our scythe in here and harvest the amaranth before anything else. We did get yams. We did get potatoes. So we can go throw those in the community center and actually get the rewards for that. So we'll be doing that soon. I just want to get these seeds right now in the ground. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I didn't realize that the crop fairy actually made all the crops in a circle. Just crop circle, huh? Huh. All the crops in one circle just grow all at once. That was actually really surprising for me. I I was like, where do I plant this? I'm just going to plant this over here because it's literally just one one more there. And I guess I have a nine by... No, I have a three by three here. Great. Okay, so the rest of the corn will go over here. Sorry I'm like holding you right here while I'm planting this stuff. But I don't want to do the planting alone this time. It's so lonely. It's such a lonely thing. So, yeah, hey. This is how I do my planting. Just random... Oh, crap. I didn't want it there. Okay, well, we're going to have to suffer in silence with that. Yep, just like that. Oh. Ooh, we have more mayonnaise. And I still haven't checked on my chickadees and my moo cow yet. So we're going to have to do that, too. It's going to be a very, very farming day i mean if it, you know if it levels up that's totally cool that's kind of sort of what i want to do which is why i've been farming so much i would love to level up getting level nine farming is just it's gonna be great and you will see why when i get there i, I will be like celebrating and having a party and all that stuff because it's what i want it's what i need and it will actually be very very beneficial so let's just uh get everything watered here and you too yep I had to put a little light there yesterday because uh, this whole farm area is super, super dark and I couldn't see what I was doing. And really, farming at night, not my best idea at all. Is there nothing there? Oh, there's nothing there. Crap, you guys. I screwed that up big time. Oh, well, whatever. Let me grab my mayonnaise here and uh, go check out my moo cows and see all my moo cow and my look look hens i guess you could say Ooh, more berries so this is i don't know if i said it already but this is the last day we can get blackberries the blackberries only spawn from the hi hi and hi from the 8th through the 11th so that's that's about it that we have for the okay katsu you, you can move now move thanks thanks oh what wait what i must have grabbed way too much hay when i was petting katsu well we can put the rest of it away that's okay and we can go check on... Oh, actually, I want to grab my pail just in case I can milk uh, Tartar. If if I can do that, then that'll be a good thing because getting some milk started... I mean, we don't have a cheese thing yet, so that's that's also a problem. But that's okay. We can get one of those started, too. Let's see. I have Amaranth there. Ooh, wait. Where did I put my regular Amaranth? Oh, no. Oh, wait. Hold on. I have mayonnaise? Oh, I have mayonnaise here. Okay, I was just like, I have mayonnaise in there? Okay, no. Here you go, Tartar. I'm coming for you. Mama's coming to greet you. Hey, sup, cow? You look big. Ooh, I can totally milk her. It's just regular milk, of course, though, because she doesn't love me enough. Oh, man, that's so sad. The cow, my cow doesn't love me enough. Like, what? Uh, thanks for the milk, milk cow. Uh, okay. So what are we going to do now? We ha Actually, we do have to mail off the milk as it is just for the collection. So we're going to do that. Let's put this away. Away? No? Okay. We are going to get to the community center today because I really want to complete that bundle. And it, it I don't know. I can't remember the reward, but I think it's something that's going to be very useful for us. Um, Where are my yams? They must be over here then. Okay, I'll take one of these and one of these. Let's head out, and I will actually grab a pepper for Shane and a quartz for Abigail. Because I don't know if I'm going to see them along the way. And if I do, well, I mean, let's do it. Also, what did Demetrius want? I think he wanted a blackberry. Let's see, quartz, quartz, quartz. Demetrius, oh. You wanted a... You do do blackberry, yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll get a blackberry for him and then head off to the community center. Where, oh, where can Demetrius be? Isn't he heading home now, or 
Is he stuck in a tree? I don't know, but I think I'll go and find him somewhere. Eh, he should be in the saloon, though. I think. I don't know how long they stay in the saloon. No, he's in the saloon. Aw, oh, nuts. He's already stuck in his home, isn't he? Well, Shane, here you go. <gasps> we have eight hearts with Shane, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, and Abigail isn't here. Oh, our relationship with Abigail is suffering because it's, it's really hard to get to her. She's like rarely ever in the places where I am. And I'm pretty sure that Pierre's is closed. Yep. Oh man, it closed 40 minutes ago. I should have just gone there instead of dawdling. But I, I was trying to make sure that I would have caught Dimitri sometime, but I didn't. So I'll have to do that in the morning. I was, I did get caught up uh, getting some more blackberries. And yeah, we will be eating blackberries for a while instead of eating the corn. Because the corn is worth a lot more than blackberries. So it's better to save the corn now than save the blackberries. Yep. Okay, here we go. Bloop and bloop. Bundle complete. So what do you get? Come on, give me the goods. Uh, bee house. Well, that's not as exciting as I was hoping it would be, but that's okay. We just need two more bundles to complete, and this is going to be the hardest one, it seems. I thought this was going to be the hardest one, but it wasn't. This one, I, I, we're getting there. We're hopefully, surely, growing all the... God dang it, Junimo. Really? You're just like Thor. We are surely going to be getting all the golden corn soon. I think I only have one, but you know, I just planted more corn, and I already have like tons and tons of corn growing anyway. So I hope that means that we'll be getting tons and tons of corn because that would make me a very, very happy bear. Yes, I would be so excited. Which way do I want to go home? It is 10.30 and I am low on energy, but let me get these last few bushes over here. I would love to have as much blackberries as I can since, like the salmon berries, I run out of them pretty quickly. Especially when I go down to the mines and with all the watering that I have to do, like the berries just don't seem to last long at all. So let me go back to my farm now and see how many blackberries I have. Ooh, hey there, more mayonnaise. That's what I like to see. Let me grab that. Let me place this bee house right here. That seems like I'm probably going to harvest the flower. And yeah, that's usually what happens. But you know what? I would rather make it look nice than make it look... Where does this corn go? I'll just harvest all of you. I don't know where the corn goes, but I will... Oh, there we go. So, what was I talking about? I don't remember what I was talking about. But anyway, I said I was going to save the eel. Good night, Thor. I love you. I said I was going to save the eel because it was worth a lot for the Grinch display. It's not. So I have to go fish for a super cucumber in the ocean. And we'll do that eventually, but not right now. We still have, like, I think after the 12th now. It's going to be, like, four more days. So we're going we're gonna to try to work on that. Anyway. We made uh, 2,660 gold today. Oh, wow. Mostly from the melon wine, actually. So, see, that was really good wine. We sold the pale ale instead of giving it to Pam. Yep, that was a stupid move. I didn't even realize that until I just checked now. But we'll we'll make some more pale ale and give it to Pam eventually. We don't really need that money. I guess. <laughs> On to the 12th. Oh, man. So what's the weather for tomorrow saying? It's going to be cloudy and with gusts of wind throughout the... You know what, weather? You, d you just don't surprise me anymore. As for my luck, ooh, the speed is real neutral. So that's actually a lot better than them always being so hard on me. Like, seriously, spirits, can't you just be ni Ooh, we have mail. Um, Mako, it seems like you're starting to get close with some of the townspeople. If you want to show someone that you're romantically interested, you've got to give them one of my beautiful flower bouquets. I'm selling them now for a very fair price. If you want to start a family someday, this is a fair, for, this is the first step here. Are you sending me that because of Shane? Mako, remember to eat healthier. You won't have enough energy to work hard. I'm including one of my favorite recipes. Make sure to use ripe tomatoes. Louis. He sent me spaghetti recipe. Hmm. I know a lot of people like pasta, like spaghetti, but that's just not me. So I will, I'll not be making that unless my future or husband or wife or whatever likes it. Then I'll make it for them. But as for me, just nah, I'll skip. Let me just uh, harvest. Ooh, I have a lot more stuff to harvest. Maybe I'll get farming level. Am I gonna, what, what, what level am I? Ooh, wait, whoa, I'm really close to 9, actually. I didn't even realize that. Okay, maybe I'll get farming level 9 soon. I don't know. But anyway, let's get to the watering for today. Oh, <sighs> all the daily farming is now done. So we just get to put away our stuff for now before we 
Well, I do want to do some fishing today. I was thinking I should do fishing before I actually go to the mines. Although, I feel like it should be the other way around because the fish that we need. Ooh! Hello there. That's some nice pickled amaranth. Good. So, as I was saying, the fishing can always be done up until 2 a.m. Obviously, you know, that's our bedtime. Like, even before that, that's our bedtime. So we can leave that until the very end, but the mining usually is like really clutch. Did I not get more? What? Do I have my amaranth somewhere else? Oh, I didn't get that much regular amaranth, huh? Oh, whatever. I'll just put this in anyway. Actually, I'll just... There we go. So we'll go to the mines right after we finish working with these pickling jars. So we can maybe get to level 70, I think, is what we're going to try for today. Because we're already at 65. And so what I... I just... I really, really want the gold. Because I am so, just so sick and tired of doing all the watering every single day. It's... You guys, it's just... After three seasons now, it's just gotten so annoying. And I'm going to be so happy when winter is here. Because I won't have to do watering all the time. Unless I unlock the greenhouse and don't have enough gold or sprinklers or whatever. Then... Yeah, I guess I'll still have to do I still have to do that kind of watering, but it's, it won't be as much because the greenhouse isn't as big as you think it is. If you've seen it before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it before, I mean, it, I know it looks small from the outside and it's a little bigger when you get on the inside, but it's still not that big. Ooh, another lost book. Excellent. So now I, I, I wish it would tell us like if we have like what count of lost books we've collected. Like you have collected like 11 out of 20 or something like that, but nah. Unless there's something like that here. Achievements, cooking, minerals, artifacts. No. As for the artifacts, though, we still have a lot to go. We are nowhere near done with those. So let's get into the mines and get to work on getting further down. I do have a, plenty of food since my energy is like less than half right now. Ah, yes. This level 65 that has absolutely nothing special in it. Great. So I'll just keep digging through here and find my staircase, and then I will meet you guys when something interesting or fun happens. Okay, well that was a lot sooner than I thought it would happen, but uh, this is an infested area, so we have to kill everything here. That means murderizing all these slimes, the big slimes, the small slimes, all the bats that are about to show up because I aggroed bat somewhere somehow. So let's, uh, oh, yeah, all the baby slimes, all, get all the baby slimes and the bat and the, oh my gosh, I am like surrounded on all four sides with everything. I'm surprised I didn't actually lose more health from that. Maybe my boots are helping, I don't know. It would be nice to corner the slimes because it's a lot easier to kill them when they're cornered and not have them jumping at me from like every single side. Right, slimes? Yeah, I saw that look that you just gave me. Let me grab that. And I can, oh, nope. I actually separated them by doing that. Great, good job me, good job. At least I have all the food in the world so I won't be hurting too badly. At least I shouldn't be hurting that badly. Slime, oh my God, this is like an impervious, ooh. Oh wait, I think I already have that one, don't I? Yep. Oh, come on, slime. You can give me a new one. I was so excited that I got a dwarf scroll from you, which is why it took you for, forever to die. Okay, come on. You're going to give me baby slime, so I have to kill you fast against the wall. That sounded actually really wrong. I apologize for that. <laughs> oh, my God. Die. Okay. Ooh, how many more do we have to go? Uh, apparently a few more. Great. Hey, you're about... Oh, my gosh. I had the evil eyes for, like, one second until it, like, actually froze me. Uh, what, what are you doing? It's like standing by my feet. Like, what? Oh, man, we still have another big slime to go. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can probably separate these guys or not. That guy just walked right down. You're dead. Two more. Two more, guys. Just two more. Actually, probably not two more because, you know, the big slime has the little babies and I am dying. I am going to die. I'm going to die. I'm running. I'm running for a second. Hold on. I'm going to eat stuff so I won't die here. Man, these slimes are tough, especially when you get them on every single side just surrounding you. I would not want that. That's why I'm like very hesitant to ever get a slime hutch because once I do, <laughs> I'm probably going to get surrounded. Unless I do like that hacks where you can like feed them without actually getting to them. So that would be a, that would be positive. Let's get rid of this last slime here. Good. Please no more infestations. Ooh, hey buddy. It's another dust sprite party. Oh man, it's already six. That infestation clearing took forever. That's why I don't really like to do those floors, but unfortunately we have to get through this today and I am not just gonna wait until okay, this desperate is like on the wrong side of my body. Um 
A G. Ooh, that that means money, man. That means more money. I want to avoid that thing over there, but I do want to get these dust rates here. Anyway, let me get these uh, dust rates out of the way and try to find another staircase down so we can maybe progress through these mines today. The mines have just not been kind to me today. Not at all. If I die, this is going to suck hardcore, man. Ooh, what? Another dwarf girl. Okay, good, good, good. Let me just run away for a bit because everything's after me. Okay, good. Oh, good, 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 good. Food, please. Okay, the bats are going to stop coming and that ghost is still coming for me, though. Ghost, I know you want my life, but I can't I can't do this for you, buddy. Sorry. This is my life. I live my life. You live your death or whatever. The bats are really still coming though. Oh my gosh, you guys. Please. Please, bats. Give me What? Again? Again? Oh my gosh. No, I just have to find a way out of here. Oh, coal, coal. I like this. Okay. I, although I really do have to get out of here pretty soon. Uh, oh Jesus Christ. Okay, carrot. Good, good, good. Okay, run, 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 because I am not staying here. Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, run. Can I run the bats? It seems like I can right now. At least for now it does. Oh my gosh. Okay, what did I just walk into? I walked into my death, you guys. This is literally my death. Let me stop right here and eat some blackberries before I actually do die. I like how the screen gets white when I'm eating. Can I run? Oh man, this is not looking good for me. This is not looking good for me at all. I know I should probably be fighting the bats, but I am just... That's way too many bats, you guys. That is just way too many, and it's already nine, and I just want to go fishing. All I wanted to do was have a peaceful day in the mines, but apparently that's not something I am about. Um, oh, that's not something I am about, apparently. And I didn't bring my fishing rod, so I'm going to have to go get that before I actually head to the ocean. I will, of course, teleport there, and I will leave at 11 sharp, just so I won't stay there too late. So let's go do that, or maybe we should just leave that fishing for another day. Hmm, well, it's about to turn 10, so I think we have to leave that fishing for another day because I don't want to be caught out of bed way too late. I know our energy is all the way full. So, I, I don't know, guys. What should I do? It's, uh, I didn't expect that to go that badly, but unfortunately, <laughs> the mines just don't like me at all. The mines are telling me to stay away, although we got a new dwarf scroll, which is excellent. That means that I am so close to completing all four of the dwarf scrolls. Yes, there are four. I'm going to sell that frozen tear. Hmm, what else do we have to sell? I don't think anything else except for this mayonnaise, but I'll put away my stuff first before I do that. Hey, Thor, you're in my freaking spot again, and I can't mine anything to get... Oh, Jesus Christ, dog. There should be a thing. There should be a thing that I can actually remove this dog just so I can be able to pass through. Okay, well, I guess I'm not getting through. Let me get the mayonnaise and sell it anyway. Oh, Thor. Thor, why are you doing this to me, buddy? Anyway, yeah, we'll go to sleep. Oh, he was awake for one second. I saw that. I saw that. Don't you trick me now. I can actually make one bar. So let me do that since I have nothing else. Well, I can make some of these too. Sure. Okay, let's just go to sleep. Thanks, Thor. Thanks for nothing. So for the 12th of fall, year one, we have made... 2,766 gold. So it looks like we're making around 2,000 gold every single day. But anyway... This has been a very short episode, and for that, I apologize. I really didn't expect to have to leave the mines so soon, but unfortunately, my luck just was running out quickly in the mines. Way too many bats, way too many infestations, and all of that. And so, our day had to just be cut short. But anyway, if you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more. I have new Stardew Valley videos every single day, and your support means the world to me. Like, you have no idea. But anyway... As always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.